Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 6th. Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. It could be within the next week. Typically, I find these readings play out within the next week. Sometimes they don't, they're not even for me. So let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I need to deliver today? Somebody's facing a really big challenge, and I think there's an opportunity to overcome it, but they're having a hard time. It's going to take perseverance. And the reason I say that is because I see mountains, okay? Mountains are challenges, so it is a challenge. So there's some sort of challenge that somebody is facing. Yeah. But there is also a new opportunity, okay? There is a new opportunity. Something is about to open up. I see that as well. Interesting. Eight of Wands. Now this is news arriving. You ready? Get ready. Get ready. Something is going to change and it's probably going to move very fast. This is fast forward movement. That is the energy that is coming up. There's something changing fast, something happening fast. Um, messages, you know, going back and forth. A lot of communication. And I think it has to do with romance. With perhaps a lover, because I just saw Rose, and Rose is romance. It's about love. So there's going to be some sort of messaging, you know, an increase, an increase. Somebody may be ready. They're they're ready now. Um, Page of Swords. Somebody's been watching. They've been watching. Um, but they haven't communicated yet. You notice that sword is, is not down. They've been challenged. That's the challenge. They've been having a hard time communicating, really thinking about it. Thinking, 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 thinking. Should I? They've really thought long and hard about it. Interesting. But I, I think that they are going to initiate. They're just wondering, you know, what should I say? How should I say it? Um, but they're definitely curious and wanting to do so. Ooh, Ooh, they may be up against somebody who is very intuitive. And, the, you know, the High Priestess Reverse is an individual that is very self-sufficient. Okay? Um, can be hard to deal with. This person um, chooses to be single. Mm hmm This guy is just watching. He is he is very solid. He is very capable. Wise. We have a very wise, wise, wise individual here. He's just sitting back and he's definitely watching. Mm -hmm. Now he's been very prominent. This is like the third reading we have had the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This guy, he, and it doesn't have to be, it doesn't have to be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person is, um, stable. He may have his own business. He is, uh, very mature. This is an older man. This is an older man. This is somebody who has, uh, I was going to say long-term experience. You know, he has experience. He has life experience. He's very wise. The High Priestess reversed. That's lack of awareness. This is... This person may not know that this person is watching them. She may not know. If there's a... Fem this could be a... It doesn't... A, this doesn't have to be a feminine, but this person doesn't know that they are being observed by this person. I think this person is going to communicate soon. I do. I do. Um, there is definitely thinking about it. Watching, observing. <laughs> this is no youngin', okay? This is a king. This is somebody that has a lot of life experience. This is a true king, okay? Very stable. Very ready. This person is completely unaware. Huh. Who is this person? 
Ooh, interesting. <clears throat> Could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This person is a leader. Definitely a leader. Could be two people. Could be two people. Could be somebody that has, you know, multiple personalities. You know, we all do. Seriously. We can change at the drop of a dime. So whoever this person is, we do have a masculine here. There's a very masculine energy. We have a masculine that is very wise. This guy is wise. You notice in both of these pictures, this guy has white. Okay, he's white, you know, in his beard, white in his hair. He is wise. Okay, this isn't no um, youngin. This is, this is somebody that has life behind their back, life experience. An older, this is an older man. It is an older man. Very distinguished man. It looks like he... Has something, he has some sort of... He's waiting. He is definitely waiting. He is waiting for the moment to, to communicate. He's been watching intently. And he's about to take action. He is about to take action, but he is thinking long and hard about what he's going to say, what he's going to offer, what he has to offer, if it's the right thing to do. Very protective and strong individual. Very practical, very business oriented. This person is definitely, you know, high up. Okay, they are high up in what whatever they do. Okay. This is this is somebody that if if this is a younger man, this person is wise beyond their years, and I mean very wise. This is somebody in like a boss position or a managerial position or a business owner. Very, very, very stable. Ooh, looking for happiness. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, that's a contradiction right there. Mmm. But not happy right now. Looking for happiness. Not in a commitment right now. Not happy. You know, may, he may see somebody as his match. You know, maybe this person hasn't met the right one. Obviously hasn't met the right one yet. There is so, He's thinking about his happiness. He's in a situation that is... He's not happy right now. With the Four of Wands reversed. Somebody is not happy right now, but is seeing an opportunity for happiness. This guy is free. He is free, 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 free as a bird. He's free and he's ready. He's ready. It's like he's ready for a new beginning. He's ready for love because the sun is about love. It is. He is ready. This is ready. He's ready for love and he's not happy right now. He's not happy alone. He doesn't want to be alone anymore. But this person is so self-sufficient, she may be intimidating. The high priestess has chosen to be single because, you know, she probably doesn't trust. Her intuition guides the way she can see right through people. This guy knows that he has to be absolutely correct when he approaches her because you can't hide nothing from the high priestess. You cannot. You absolutely cannot. Oh, it looks like he's probably going to take a risk. This is risky. It is risky. She may be scary. She probably is a little scary, especially when she's she's so intuitive. But she doesn't know who this person is. She doesn't. She absolutely does not. This fool right here, this guy, you know. I heard a song the other day. What the hell was it? 
it was about this fool. Um, oh my God. I don't know. It was just yesterday too. Um, spur of the moment. So this guy is going to take a risk. He is. It is risky. It is definitely risky. So he's thinking about taking that leap of faith. Taking that mask off and showing himself. But will she open up? Will she open up her heart? So we do have this masculine that is seeing an opportunity for happiness and growth. He's ready. He's ready. He wants to communicate. I think he's a little fearful. I think he's fearful because of whoever he has his eye on is, uh, she may be a little cold. She may be a little closed off or a lot closed off emotionally. Maybe she's closed off emotionally because she's been taken advantage of in the past. I mean, will she take a risk? And that's what he's thinking about. Will she give him a chance? This is an opportunity for a new beginning. So I think that he is thinking about... Um, this is freedom and this is freedom. He, so he's thinking about perhaps taking a risk. He's, well, he is, he's ready. He's free. He's completely free. He's been free. He's no longer in a commitment. He's, he's not committed. Okay. He's free. He, he may be ready to take a jump, take a leap of faith on this person who is, um, closed off emotionally it looks like this person is fearful the other person over here is fearful of opening their heart um hmm. protective very protective um guarded now this is removing an obstacle of fear so I do believe that this guy, and this is, is have no fear. This guy is fearful right now, but I, I think that the, 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 that he is going to overcome his fear. He is probably going to overcome his fear, his fear of rejection. That's what it is too. It's a fear of rejection. Um, Will he be accepted? This is being accepted. He definitely wants to be accepted by this feminine. Uh, the high priestess is a feminine energy. Seven of wands reversed. Overwhelmed. This guy is overwhelmed. He's overwhelmed. He, he doesn't want to get rejected. He, um... Doesn't want to be pushed away. He's afraid of being pushed away. understandable understandable he's dealing with an empress right here so she is beautiful she is tender loving care she is the goddess of love she does it all right she she can make anything grow yes she has been through pain she has a lot of life experience herself this person is she's definitely we have this empress here that is definitely being watched she may be being watched by two people she could be being watched by two people or she could be being watched by one. Uh, whatever we got going on here, it feels like, I mean, there could be, uh, well, we do have some, some messages going back and forth, but we do, we, <laughs> I'm stumped. Okay. I'm stumped. What I feel, hmm. We do have somebody that is about to take a risk. They are about to take a risk, take a leap of faith, and communicate. You see what's mirroring each other, okay? We, one of these people, if, if it's two, is about to communicate. We have a feminine, this empress that is totally unaware. She is absolutely unaware. She is, uh, she is absolutely a, a beauty. She is. She's glowing. She knows her value she has everything to offer okay she's she's not uh, promiscuous right she's she knows her value she doesn't play games she doesn't cheat she's the pick of the litter and this this guy or these people they see it they absolutely see it and they are definite somebody is fearful 
of stepping forward. They are definitely fe fearful of stepping forward into this person's life because, I mean, she seriously really knows her value. And like I said, you know, in, in order to get her to open up, you have to come completely, completely, completely correct with, you know, you have to be ready for a commitment. Okay. So, uh, it looks to me like we have one person that, that is absolutely ready for a commitment and maybe the other one isn't quite as ready. Um, both of these people are free. They are single. These, these masculines. Okay. They're both single by the looks of things. I think that they are both single. Um, and they both want her attention. And they pro she does have multiple options, so they probably both know that as well. She does have multiple options. So we have this Empress that has uh, a couple of options by the looks of things, okay? She does. So she, and I don't think she even knows it. Um... Maybe she does. Maybe she does. Anyhow, um, there's going to be communication. Oh, it's funny. I left this one up. <laughs> Anyhow, there is uh, going to be a communication that comes through. I think that this person is going to take a chance. They are going to take a risk, even though they're fearful. They're fearful of rejection. They're going to communicate very soon one of these person one of these people has gotten out of a relationship suddenly not suddenly but recently they have now the seven of wands is also feeling powerless so we, there could be lack of confidence here. At least maybe both of them. Somebody is lacking confidence. <laughs> Whew. This Empress is very down to earth. Very... Uh, natural okay she's natural she's just a natural beauty okay she doesn't need a lot of extras to be beautiful she's just she doesn't she's beautiful she's beautiful on the inside and the out and she is definitely being watched by somebody one or two people and this guy is this person or people both of them somebody is super scared they are it's like they're feeling powerless they're feeling power powerless because she is so beautiful it's like damn will she give me a chance i think that she what will she do five of swords reversed ah jeez i'm crow I wonder if one of these people is somebody from the past. Somebody wants to come back. Somebody that has hurt her. She's been through pain. And she may have been in a relationship with one of these. There may have been a commitment in the past. You know, with one of these people. And somebody may want to come back. And But there's two options here. There is definitely two options. So we could have this empress that is receiving messages from, from two different people. Could be the same person. I don't know. They're, because people can take on multiple energies. It's like, I have nothing left to prove. I just want to be happy. There could be an apology with the five of swords reversed. You know, peace. Peace. We have an empress that, you know, everybody can see her beauty. Everybody, it's easy to see how beautiful she is. It really is. 
And it feels like she is receiving some sort of uh, opportunity. She is receiving some sort of opportunity. Whether she will accept it or not, I do not know. We do also have somebody that has... Uh, and maybe this person, we have somebody that has lost their power over an empress because this is a loss of power. And this is too. So we could have one of these men or masculines or people that has lost their power. She doesn't need anybody. The empress doesn't need anybody. Very self-sufficient like the high priestess reverse. So it's probably the same person. Very self-sufficient. Doesn't need anybody. This, this beautiful individual um, can make anything grow, you know, and she can do it by herself. She's so nurturing. So interesting. She's healed, too, from some pain, obviously. She's been through a lot of pain, and she has a lot of life experience. So there's, there's healing here. Somebody has healed from their pain. Now, now, they're, now they're growing. Now they're blossoming. Now they're so beautiful. The pain has made them stronger. The pain has made them more beautiful. Interesting. So somebody may have lost their power over this queen. We know she's the queen of all queens. So they may want to come back. They're feeling powerless. This other, this queen may have somebody else. So anyway, I feel as though in the coming days, somebody is going to be receiving messages from somebody maybe two people they're going to be receiving messages from somebody who has been really thinking long and hard long and hard about uh what happiness is and what love is because the sun is about happiness and it is about love and they're thinking about taking a leap into you know unknown territory and i think they're fearful but they're also excited at the same time. This is an exciting opportunity for a new beginning. It is. So we do have an opportunity. This is a fresh start, starting from scratch. So somebody may be taking a leap of faith because that's what their heart wants. And they may communicate with whoever this empress is that they are watching. So if you are the empress and this reading is for you, and you have been waiting for some sort of communication from somebody. Um, and you are no longer um, suffering, right? You've been through your suffering. You are probably going to receive a message from somebody that ha is interested in you. You may not know who this person is. You may not even know who this person is. Um, there is an obstacle that is being removed with the Eight of Swords reversed. Okay, I don't know what that obstacle is. It could be, this could be, uh, or has been removed. Okay, because this could be like an X. Okay, that obstacle has been removed. There is an obstacle being removed. So yeah, be prepared for <laughs> an unexpected choice in love. I just cut the deck amazing that's what it is an unexpected choice in love with somebody that makes your heart sing makes you feel like you want to dance this is falling in love there's a strong connection there's a you know a karmic not karmic a kindred uh feeling with this person it's not karmic i don't know why well it came out of my mouth Maybe they've let go of a... Maybe they've gotten some karma. Maybe they've let go of a karmic situation. It's funny that I brought that up. Perhaps they have. There's an unexpected choice in love. There's two people coming together that... Are probably going to fall in love. This is shared values. It's a beautiful connection. So yeah. You know, I feel like there is love in the air. And we have an empress that is going to be receiving some messages from somebody that has been watching her. Good luck.